all right so welcome to pv tech i'm praise blessed and in this video as you saw the title i want to show you how you can actually install antenna channels or the digital channels on your master kumo recorder so with the master kumo recorder it comes in two different options that you can actually tap onto the signal and then get those fta channels and with these two different options you have the satellite dish using your satellite dish to actually get those signal and using your antenna pool to actually tap onto the signal that is on the Telestra platform. So in this tutorial is about getting the channels which is on the Telestra platform or the digital FTA channels that you're gonna get. So once it comes to the antenna, the antenna actually works in different way from the satellite dish. So the satellite, having a satellite signal, you actually need to mount the satellite dish in a clear space whereby the signal microwaves will be hitting on it for you to get access to the signal and then getting the channels as well. But with the antenna, it works in different ways. Use radio waves to actually work. So even in your bedroom, under your wardrobe, anywhere in your room, provided there is a signal in your location, you are probably going to get a stable signal from the antenna main pool. So in some locations, in some urban cities, you don't have to mount a long pole simply because you have the availability of those signal. And in some locations too, you need to mount a long pole before you want to get a signal on it. So to have a clear view about how you can actually get those antenna or the guitar signal, you can look around your neighborhood, there will be at least one or two antennas being mounted, which can give you a clear indication about how or where you can actually match your antenna level to get a stable signal from the antenna main pole. Living in those far areas whereby they are not closer to the antenna you need to mount a long pole to actually get a stable signal of the antenna before you can proceed to do whatever you need to do with those signal so when it comes to the antenna we have different types of antenna and then every antenna have its own signal quality and then signal strength level so the antenna that you're going to use at the same position it can get you 50 percent another antenna placing it at the same position can get you 80 percent and which will also have some influence on the signal quality and the channels as well. The more the signal quality, which will also enable you to get more of the channels that is available on those frequencies in and around those areas. So you should be aware of that. So with the antenna, you can actually use a Go TV antenna if you have a Go TV antenna or any small antenna that you have. Any antenna at all can work. So. It's now you don't have any required antenna that you can use provided there is a signal over there you're probably going to get it as i said earlier the quality of your antenna will actually determine the number of channels or the signal quality or the signal strength that you're supposed to get in those area and in this video it's not about you knowing a particular frequency that you are trying to track i'm going to list some frequencies of the fta the other channels on your screen you can pick it and then you track but this is about a random search from your area to get those signal that is available in your location and then the channel that will come along with it. So if you know what exactly you need to do, you can actually pick one of the frequencies that will be listed on your screen. You add it onto your decoder menu and then you start turning your antenna around to actually get a stable signal on it. So to begin with, at the back of your master combo decoder, as I said earlier, we have two different options to actually tap in onto the signal to get those FTA channels, whether on the satellite platform or on a terrestrial platform. So we have two receiving ports on your master combo decoder at the back of it to actually receive those signals. So to do your antenna installation, you need to insert in a cable from your antenna pool onto the ANT input or the RF input. If you're going to use this tutorial to actually set any other combo decoder you can use the rf import if there is an rf import most of you are going to name it rf or ant so this they have actually indicates an ant import so that's where you need to connect or insert the cable from your antenna onto it and in case you don't have any ready-made cable that comes with a pin the rf pin either male or female they have no made it like this and you need to actually fix an f connector you have to be very careful whenever you are fixing the f connector if you're supposed to fix an f connector such as this one 
any mistake on the F connector will actually reduce the signal strength or the signal quality that is supposed to get from your antenna. So you should be aware of it to actually fix the F connector really well. The next thing that you need to do is to actually insert in your antenna cable from your antenna onto the ANT or the RF import. And then you pick up your remote, you proceed with whatever I'm gonna show you over here. So you press on the menu on your remote and from the menu page, use the arrow top and down keys and then look for installation. So installation, you press OK on it. And on the right side of the page, you have the DVB-S2, DVB-T2, DVB-C and then the factory reset. So the S2 is for the satellite settings. So if you are to do your multi-TV or any FTA channels settings, that's where you need to come and then do those settings over there. But this one, this is about the guitar or the terrestrial option. So you need to select either the DVB-T2 or the DVB-C. Any of this menu, you can use it to set your digital channels or the terrestrial channel. So you press OK on the T2 with the terrestrial second generation. And on this page, we have some folders that have installed some frequencies in it. And we have some folders that have much of the frequencies in it. The frequencies will be listed on your screen if you are in Ghana or some West African country. Some frequencies can actually get you some digital FTA channels. But there's a random search that I'm going to show you how you can actually get some channels in your location. So we're going to do some random search to get whether you know or you don't know any frequency in your location, provided there is a signal in those locations and provided your antenna have actually catch some signal, you're going to get the channels on it. So we have some folders that you need to select, as I said earlier, that have those frequencies being installed in it. We have some Togo folder bulgaria england france italy so you need to ignore the togo folder the togo folder doesn't have much of the frequencies being installed so whenever you select it and then you proceed with whatever i'm going to show you here you are not likely to get enough of the channels available even if you have some signal on your antenna pool so you need to ignore the togo folder and then you select either england france or italy so in case you proceed with whatever I'm going to show you and you're unable to get any channel, which means that you're unable to get any signal at all, you need to pick some of the frequencies that will be highlighted on your screen. And then you do the manual search. You track to get a signal before you proceed with whatever I'm going to show you here. So since you're going to do a random search, you don't know a particular frequency in your location which have those channels. You need to perform an auto search over here so when it comes to this menu you select either france england or italy which have much of the frequencies being installed in it and then you change the mode on top of the list over here to auto so you change it to auto and then the next thing that you need to do is to actually press ok on a start search you need to wait for it to actually complete scanning if you don't get any channel at that position you turn the antenna to another position and then you do the auto search once again. So let's say you place your antenna at this level and you perform the auto search, you're unable to get any signal at all or any channel. You turn the antenna to another position like this and then you perform the auto search. If you don't get it, you turn it to another position, you perform the auto search. After doing it 360 wise at that level, if you don't get any channel which means that you don't have any signal at that level. You raise it to another level, and then you do this 360 wise. If you don't get it, you can bring it down below the level that you never got a signal. And then you do the auto search 360 wise. Probably if there is a signal in your location, you're gonna get a stable signal, which will actually blink out some FTA digital channels in your location. And if you wanna have some clear indication about where exactly you need to get those digital signal and look around your neighborhood as i said earlier and then if there have been some antennas being mounted just match the level that they got those signal and then you raise your antenna to that level you do this 360 so probably you're supposed to get a signal if all your cables have been fixed really well you're going to get a stable signal on it and then after that you save you press ok to save and those channels will be available for you to enjoy and 
the number of channels that you're going to get would depend on the signal quality that you have gotten from your antenna pro so you should be aware of it if the position that you go maybe you go 30 channels or 50 channels at that position you can adjust the antenna a bit to check to do the auto search once again to check whether it's going to bring out some more channels in those locations and you are good to go so that's it if this video has been helpful and when you here, have to do subscribe hit the like on and we keep coming back for more thanks for watching bless up oh.